It was a hot afternoon, temperatures in the 90s, a lethargic day, and Pat Devlin provided the quick shot of energy that was needed. The UMass Old Baseball River Hawks defeated St. Anselm's 2-0 in a nail-biter Tuesday afternoon under the hot sun at Lalasher Park. I don't know, I just felt we were dragging a little bit today, and we've played a lot of baseball in a short amount of time. That is UMass Old Head Baseball Coach Ken Herring. Dragging, maybe, but they did get the job done. They got pitching from Ted Haley and a couple of people out of the bullpen. They got a clutch hit from Taylor Von Krinkenberg, and they played solid defense. And oh yes, Pat Devlin stole home a straight steal of home. With Devlin at third base and the lefty going from the full windup, and I watched the first one and saw how slow he was to the plate. I just said we got to take a chance, especially left on left right there. Uh, and you know, Fantini's a pretty tough pitcher. He's got a good breaking ball, and I just figured I, I was banking on him throwing the ball away. Devlin, you got to credit Devlin. He got a good jump and made an unbelievable slide. He was definitely safe. Got the left arm around to get the plate. It was the seventh inning, a one nothing ball game. The Riverhawks leading, but the game by no means was secure. Devlin was on base. He'd reached on a bunt single, and with two outs, he'd made his way to third. I just said, you're going. Yeah, I said, you're gonna, yeah, I go, you want to steal home after the first one? Yeah, yeah. I said, uh, well, you got to get down the line, and as soon as he makes any movement, you're gone. And uh, nothing to Petey. Petey facing him. He saw him coming, so I just felt we needed to do something to spark us a little bit when we were dragging a little bit today. I wanted to, too, because I knew I could tell he was so slow in the windup. So I was like, all right, and, and the third it was key because the third baseman was way back. He kept telling me to get more in my lead, get more, and then first step back, I just took off and worked out. There was a left-hander on the mound. He was going from the full windup, and he had his back to third base. I was kind of running full speed. I, I was kind of just focused on the plate, and I saw him catch it kind of back, so my slide was way in front of the plate, and I dragged my hand across instead of just diving right in. So, I mean, I kind of read where where the ball was, where it was caught, that helped. It was that slide that made the difference. Devlin slid to the front of the plate. The catcher was sitting back, waiting for the pitch to arrive. My, I, my, all my focus was just on the plate, hard as I could, face down. And then I kind of focused in on the catcher, where the ball came. And I noticed it was kind of, he caught it back a little. And I just slid my hand in the front of the plate. And where Devlin was safe, and the Riverhawks were up to nothing. And nothing would change after that. The Riverhawks had taken a 1-0 lead in the fourth inning. Peter Honorato tripled, and Taylor Von Kriegenberg's two-strike single brought the run across the plate. He finally kept his hands back and just put the ball in play. If you put the ball in play, think good things are going to happen. And, uh, you know, he fisted one in there, and, hey, God bless him, because the kids really fought it this year, And but he is a good hitter. We know he's a good hitter, and if he just learns to relax a little bit in big situations, he could, you know, drive in 40, 50 runs a season. It was not a game for offense. The pitchers battled. Ted Haley was on the Riverhawks. Mount did not have his best stuff, but determination can make a difference. He got by with just, he knows he's better than everybody, and that's the key. If you know you're better than the guy in the batter's box, you're going to get outs. And he just has that presence out there, that swagger that nothing's ever going to bother him. And again, he's uh, picked us up again after a loss, a tough loss on Sunday. So uh, he's really been a great stopper for us. Just had to got it through. We needed the win today, so had to go out and do my job. Definitely had to grind through it today. Uh, didn't have uh, didn't have my best stuff out there with almost anything, but I just make the pitches and uh, have my field back me up. I didn't have many many strikeouts, so they obviously made the plays behind me. Haley working on short rest went seven innings. He allowed six hits in a walk. He struck out three, but he did not surrender a run. He had a bit of a swank. Yeah, I think a pitcher has to go out there and know that I'm going to get you out. If not, then the hitter already has an advantage on you. So I mean, you got to be out there. You got to go out there with some type of uh, a swagger. After Haley seven innings, the game was left in the hands of the bullpen. Lefty Todd Bartleson and right-hander closer Dallas Nunes got the job done. Each threw a shutout inning. Bartleson was fantastic. Came in, you know, if you come out of the bullpen and just throw strikes and get ahead of hitters, you're going to have success. And Todd's done that all year for us. And Nunes, Dallas is Dallas. He's just... Whatever, he gets it done. He finds a way to get it done because he can throw three pitches for strikes. The Riverhawks are now 24-15, 15-11 in the Northeast 10 Conference.